We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. The grace of God is sufficient in all seasons. The grace of God is sufficient. Don't give up on God because He won't give up on you. He is with you and He will see you through. My dear friend, I want to pray special deliverance prayers today and I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. God is going to take you to a greater glory and He's going to set you free from whatever may be troubling you. In saying that, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father even today. Take us closer to Jesus that we may know him. I ask this in Jesus name. Amen. But dear friend, the grace that we have received in Christ brings the possibility for us to receive total and complete freedom. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. The punishment that he took up on the cross in our place, the price that he paid for us to be free was paid so that we could be free, so that we could be reconciled back to God. And there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. There is deliverance in Christ. Salvation is the greatest form of deliverance. God wants you to be free. No matter what attack the enemy may be trying to bring against you, God wants you to be free and God is able to set you free. Furthermore, the Bible indicates and shows us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So freedom is yours even today in Christ. Christ has paid the price and he has made it available to you. Today as we pray, reach out and take hold of it. Take hold of that freedom. Take hold of your deliverance. Take hold of total and complete freedom in the name of Jesus. Pray over your house, that even in your house, there will be the freedom and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. God wants you to be free and he wants you to prosper body, soul and spirit. And if we follow his word, we will indeed prosper. Many people see the word of God as a set of rules or a rule book that we must follow. But we as born again believers must not look at the word of God like that. We should understand and know that what is contained in the word will only and ultimately lead to our benefit in the end. You see, God loves and he cares for us so much that he has given us everything that we need. He saved us. He's reconciled us back to him. He's given us his word. We have the Holy Spirit of God. And we have wisdom that we gain through reading the word of God. And this wisdom will protect us. In certain cultures, they look down on the word of God. They look at the word of God as some religious tradition that is forgotten or that is boring. But in actual fact, the word of God will protect you from all the mistakes you can make. 
when you make decisions that are not wise. The Word of God will protect you. In times that you are in warfare, the Word of God will show you the way so that you can receive your blessing. The Word of God is a light unto our path, showing us the way that we must walk in. And I tell you, my dear friend, narrow is the way. Narrow is the way that leads to life. And wide and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And very few are walking on the narrow way. I encourage you, follow Jesus and follow the word of God. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Believe in the Father, believe also in Jesus. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God for a few moments, and then I'll begin to pray for you in line with this message. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy that is released in abundance even today. And even today we can receive our breakthrough. Even today we can receive our deliverance. Even today we can receive our blessing in Christ. Even today you are able to take us to a greater glory. We give you praise and we thank you that in you we have freedom. In you we have life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In you is everything that we need to prosper and to grow and to be truly happy inside. To truly enjoy what it means to live a life of fulfillment. And we give you praise and we thank you for our family and our friends around us. Thank you that you never leave us helpless, you never leave us alone, and you guide us. You speak to us. You show us the way. Be glorified and be magnified even today. In the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you. Comment and agree, connect in faith, believe and receive. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Through the grace availed in Christ to all who believe, and through the power in the name of Jesus that breaks every chain, set my dear friend free from every demonic attack. Set my dear friend free from every spiritual attack that is coming up against them. Set my dear friend free. Where my dear friend needs deliverance, bring deliverance. Whatever attack it might be that is coming up against my dear friend, I pray that you will damage and destroy the weapons that are fashioned against my dear friend who is watching this video. Destroy the plan and the effort of the enemy against my dear friend. Intervene divinely and change the situation and change the outcome to one that is good and pleasant and favorable. We give you praise and we thank you that it is not the end until you say it's the end. And you are fighting for my dear friend, you are delivering my dear friend, you are seeing my dear friend through. We give you praise and we thank you that even today you are with us and your deliverance is available. Set my dear friend free from every attack of the enemy. Set my dear friend free from every form of evil that will come up against my dear friend. Set my dear friend free from every attack that the enemy has planned against my dear friend. Bring deliverance from all forms of witchcraft, deliverance from all forms of attack, Deliverance from all seducing spirits. Deliverance from all manipulating spirits and deception. Spirits of deception. Set my dear friend free. 
and I pray that you will take over the atmosphere in my dear friend's house. If my dear friend has been experiencing weird things in the place where they stay, or the area that they stay, I pray that you will intervene divinely and let my dear friend enjoy such peace in that place where they stay. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.